Welcome to this video tutorial on performing a generator redispatch in Power Simulator. While operating a power grid, you may be called upon in an emergency and during normal operations to perform a generator redispatch. A generator redispatch involves ramping one or more units up while at the same time ramping one or more units down, all the while maintaining a constant frequency. First, I will demonstrate a generator redispatch and then I will walk you through the process. On the Palco system, we can see that there are two lines currently out of service between Doyle and Crawford. The outage of these two lines is a major event. By scanning the system map, we can also see that there is a line overload between Beaver and Stanton. To reduce this overload, we are going to perform a generator redispatch. We notice the direction of the flow on the overloaded line is from Beaver to Stanton. To relieve the overloaded line, we need to reduce generation on the sending end and increase generation on the receiving end. The closest generator to the sending end would be the Doyle power plant. A generator close to the receiving end would be the Amos Hydro plant. Now I increase output at the Amos plant by 70 megawatts. At the same time, I reduce the ramp rate to that of Doyle and press OK. Now I open up the Doyle station and decrease its output by 70 megawatts and press OK. This should keep frequency steady at 60 Hz. Now since the ramp rate is at 40 megawatts per minute, this redispatch will take around one and a half minutes. With pull generators nearly at their set point, we can see that the line has significantly unloaded. Let's reload the base case so that we can walk through the process step by step. Firstly, we have to identify the overload by monitoring the system map. Second, we identify the generators that we will be using for the redispatch. If the generator is electrically distant from the overloaded line, then the effect will be much smaller. From the system map, we can open both substations by holding shift and left clicking once. Rearrange the windows as desired. Now open the generator dialog boxes for each generator. Make sure they're both in manual mode and increase the megawatt set point at AMOS to 190 and the ramp rate to 40. Press OK. Now decrease the megawatt set point at Doyle to 300 and press OK. Now you can watch the system map as the line is unloaded. Now it is your turn to try a generator redispatch on Power Simulator. Good luck and thank you for watching.